So welcome to Fat TV. Uh, we're in Lego World Summer Studio. Uh, he's going to run for us how he makes a Lego World track. Normally, I just take a couple of synthesizers and put them here. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, this uh, this month or this week, I got the Yamaha DX100, which is an old uh, FM synthesizer which is a really cheap uh, legendary techno and house machine of course and here is my uh, dupe for modular system today i put my dx100 through a, a low pass filter an 18 uh, db uh, tb303 uh, simulation filter so uh, i can filter it so it gives you the same filter sound the 303 would it? yeah it basically yeah. yeah this is a modified uh, korg volca keys uh, which is a, a really shit synthesizer, I think. A friend of mine put a MIDI output uh, on here, and so I can use it as a polyphonic sequencer, which nice. is really interesting. So I can, I can. I got my uh, uh, Tascam uh, four-track tape recorder here yeah. too, and what I like to do uh, sometimes is record on the cassettes uh, too, uh, so the sound gets a little bit. Uh, warmer you know <laughs> uh, but it, it has a really good uh, eq on here which can really fatten up uh, like a weak sound and here is a yamaha sy35 which is a, a dynamic vector synthesis i grew up in the in the 90s yeah. programming things like this in the in the attic when i came back from school so yeah. it's uh, for me it's not that of a problem and it's yeah. also very zen like to program a sound on this Oh, I think you have to go down with Yamaha synth. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because they do everything uh, backwards. Back oh, okay. Or, uh, or the other way around, because they're Japanese. So <laughs> I don't, I don't. It's kind of medieval. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, I could also uh, put this one through the modular system and yeah. uh, put a filter over yeah. it. So I'm going to program a, a sound on the DX100. FM synthesis and uh, yeah, I just uh, start. I have an FM square, so a very basic sound, and then I can uh, change the uh, algorithm or something. It doesn't have much uh, use now, but. It's going through the modular system here, so I can... Uh, this is... oh, right. yeah, nice. That's a really crappy toy yeah. piano. <laughs> a little bit noisy. But it adds character. Yeah, it does, yeah, yeah. And then I can change the frequency of the... This is a, would be a nice bass sound, I guess. Yeah, yeah sure. Maybe I want to make it a little bit more fatter. Give it some more edge or something. Yeah. Then I just uh, uh, press record here on the uh, sequencer. What I, I like to do is just play some random melodies. And I really don't care if the timing is not gonna uh, uh, be right and stuff, because mm -hmm. uh, I sample these little melodies I play, and then I make a melody with it again in the computer. So, so it's kind of uh, sampling from a record, but instead of the record, you make it yourself. We recorded it here, and what I do then most of the time is I got uh, the, the simpler, uh, which is the sampler of mm -hmm. Ableton. So if I, can, I can play these melodies. And if you put this like in an, uh, another tempo, you get a really weird groove, uh, mm -hmm. so to speak. Uh, for example, uh, well, I, I shall make a rhythm. Mm -hmm. 
uh, I got. So this is your drum. This is your drum rack, is it? Yeah, this is my drum rack, and I sampled a lot of my drum machines in the computer, mm -hmm. uh, my 808 and everything. And so, uh, so these days you don't necessarily use your drum machines live for the track. You just sample them and then well, program them. Well, sometimes I have an uh, uh, Electron. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? Analog Rhythm drum machine. Okay. I use live sometimes, and uh, a Boss DR660, which is the Chicago. Uh, ghetto house drum machine dance mania okay. so i got a very hard kick drum okay this kick drum is from a farley jackmaster funk record i think from the resurrection ep i also got my own uh, bass drums this yeah. one is sampled from a commodore amiga computer has a 8-bit uh, okay. sound system yeah. so the samples become really compressed and and raw it's it's nice kind of a to know if pe that people use your samples, you know, then yeah. you sneak in, in other people's <laughs> music or something. Yeah, 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 it's cool. And let me check out the... So we got the kick drum, and then maybe do some... I also got um, uh, my own effects over mm -hmm. this. This is an uh, effects uh, thing called the Smuckles Tape Station, which uh, emulates uh, yeah, really raw tape sound. And this is the uh, beat without it. And if I put this Smuckles Tape Station on, it becomes yeah. uh, much warmer. And I can change the... And you made that yourself? Yeah, yeah. it's an uh, effects rack in uh, Ableton. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I can add high. Uh, uh, maybe do that in another block, so I will have this one to begin with, and then another one here. Um, so I basically yep. kind of randomly put the notes there. Yeah. What I always, uh, also do a lot of times is add some uh, velocity. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a cool thing here in Ableton, uh, dynamic for example and it uh, kind of randomly uh, changes the velocity of the note, so okay. you, you get a more uh, movement yeah. in, in the rhythm, especially if you put the uh, rhythm. You need to have some kind of um, imperfection in, in the music. I, I don't like perfect music where everything is really like uh, on, on its place, you know? So I'm, kind of uh, pushing myself now to do these kind of weird things. Mm -hmm. So, because um, the brain likes uh, to listen to this kind of stuff, because then the brain can think a little bit. <laughs> yeah. so mm -hmm. Maybe I change the start and stop points mm -hmm. here. <laughs> This is okay for now, I guess. And uh, I'm gonna copy this track because we, we sampled a lot more, of course. Yeah. And I just go in here again and then we have everything neatly in uh, one WAV file. I only started using a computer like five years ago. Mm -hmm. Somebody showed me in the 2000s how Ableton worked, but I couldn't understand it. Right. So, and then I uh, learned Ableton like five years ago and then I was okay, you know. Else I would be stuck making mm. music because if you only make music with hardware or mm. something, you might get stuck at a certain yeah. moment. I quickly make a new drum That's pattern uh, with, just, um, with just the bass drum because else it gets too uh, cluttered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. It's kind of, yeah. yeah, what's the vibe of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you gotta do something else than the track directs you into because then yeah. it might get a little bit cliche. Ah, yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah. So you, so you try and go against where it's going sometimes. Yeah. yeah. This is a good tip for if you're uh, making an asset in a, in a sequencer is to put the, the grid mm -hmm. not on 16 but on uh, 32 so you can make really short sounds and yep. that's for acid it's uh, kind of uh, bass lines very uh, important mm -hmm. uh, then of 
course you can uh, make it more freakier by putting a long note in uh, or a slide maybe even you know the yeah. the acid slide so let's see I, I have no idea if this is gonna sound this one is wrong At the end yeah. of a bar, you always have to have some kind of closure mm. uh, thing. Or well, what I can also do maybe is. Uh, make another three of three thing here mm -hmm. and just make a really simple because okay. uh, there's a lot of melody already going on so the baseline uh, shouldn't be that melodic, mm -hmm. I think. I basically uh, make all the patterns al already, so mm -hmm. I have something uh, to record and later on. Yeah. So all the elements are there, but uh, when I record the, the track, the structure, mm -hmm. uh, then I'm gonna look again for things that are missing, mm -hmm. or I might add a string or yeah. something. Now ah, we uh, then we have yeah a kind of starting arrangement yeah. here in this uh, window. It's okay if, if there's a little pause. Before yeah, no, that's nice. Yeah. I think that's really good. Oh, uh, I was watching this the uh, other day. I mm -hmm. think it's it's some kind of Canadian science fiction series from the seventies or something. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty horrible. But uh, when I was watching it, I already thought, oh, this is great stuff to sample. So, yeah. um, well, what I'm gonna do is uh, just use the. Uh, let me put this on on the thing and use the mini jack output mm -hmm. so the uh, YouTube goes to the sound card again so we found two samples this, this is a logical lab where are the other animals and there are no others and you can already know where that last sample will go uh, there are no others. maybe uh, I'm gonna put it in the in a simpler uh, this this file because then I have more mm -hmm. control over it because now it's just an audio thing. And of course, I'm gonna EQ it because of that horrible uh, high pitch bleep. And I just used EQ8. And mm -hmm. if I. Oh, it's really low. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There are no others. There, 
There are no others. There are no others. There are no others. And then I do the. There are. And I put some uh, delay over it. Okay. That's always nice. Uh, it might be a little bit too cheesy. Yeah, it might be just a bit too cheesy. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, with a sample like that, the best thing is to just put it in the beginning. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. What well, without any of the music around it? Yeah, yeah. probably because you know, yeah. it's, uh, else it will be too clownesque. Everything. Yeah, <laughs> clownesque. Yeah. This is a zoological lab. Where are the other animals? <laughs> See, uh, this should be uh, some seriousness in yeah. this uh, thing, you know. Oh, okay, so we're gonna record it on the tape, the the track, to make it a little bit more uh, fuzzy or have some uh, artifacts on it. Okay, so this records on high speed, so it's a little bit better than uh, a normal cassette uh, cassette deck. So uh, let's see, press record. Track is on here. There we go. Yeah. That's the, mm -hmm. the the golden ticket. Yeah. <laughs> then I will digitize it in the computer again and yeah. do some uh, maybe more EQing or of the track. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's uh, how I make a track. Mm -hmm. 